Hi Libra, this is Logan with Golden Thread Tarot. This is going to be your weekly reading for October 1st to the 7th. Now before I go into your reading, I do just want to cover a couple things regarding the astrology. So as you are aware from last time, Jupiter is in retrograde in Taurus until December 30th, okay? This is the sign of, or the planet, excuse me, of abundance and good fortune and expansion. So if you're trying to have like a lot of success from now until December 30th, definitely talk to Jupiter and ask for its help um, on really creating abundance for you and whatever way you're wanting to receive that. Um, we are in your season officially. So as a Taurus Libra Libra, I love Libra season and it feels so good to be here and just the falls here or the springs here, wherever you are, and just fresh seasons, fresh, crisp, cool energy, and just harmony, right? Venusian energy, harmony, it's so peaceful. And um, we have, we had the, the full moon in Aries on the 29th of September, um, and that's gonna be with us for a couple of weeks. So just tapping into ways in which you can um, prioritize your personal potential in a fiery way towards your passions and I think that's everything that I want to discuss right now and yeah I would just want to say thank you for everyone who has liked and subscribed and commented it's making me feel really good especially as a new channel I'm really happy to be here and to offer this beautiful service of exchange of energy and um, just enjoying the process for sure so thanks for everyone um, being here and let's get started. Okay, so we start with lighting the Palo Santo and this is going to cleanse the space. So it's just us and the message. We're fall here, I'm in New York and the leaves are really starting to change. The air is getting really crisp and I've got my pumpkin cinnamon candle going right over here and apple cinnamon in the kitchen. And uh, I've got some toasted almond green tea here. Cozy vibes for sure. Especially as a tourist, I'm all about cozy home vibes. We cleanse the space for Libra. Okay, let's begin. Reminder, all the decks that I use are in the subscription box, um, description box <laughs> below. Pilgrim. So I love this card. This card came up for Sagittarius. This is a card of you. You could potentially be doing something in an apprenticeship kind of way, okay? Studying, learning something new, really putting all of your energy into a particular skill. Okay, 444. This is also really about you needing to be with yourself and 
the whole thing about Libra season is how we relate to others and how others relate to us. And this card is really asking you to go on like your own inner pilgrimage at this time and getting goosebumps as we speak and really tap into who you are as an individual, okay? And travel is also part of this card, okay? Even if it's driving down a new street, seeing new things, introducing new energy into your space, okay? But this really talks about you being a student of life right now and you are not someone that is currently interested in trivial conversation, okay? TV, mm, newest shows, uh, if this is, you're really wanting to dive deep into the depths of, of what you're studying right now. You're so in it. You're like a scholarly entity right now, really wanting to dive under the surface, okay? And a lot of this is gonna happen within, okay? If you're able to travel and you have the finances to travel, I really hope that you do get to do that because with this pilgrim card, taking a journey, it's like the journey card and it's an inward journey, right? We got a lot of cards from this deck today. Okay. We have the crow. We have the lion. We have the sea serpent. We have the whale in reverse and we have the camel in reverse. Okay. Now the crow here has to do with the more spiritual side of things. I don't know if you're someone, I'm sure that you are, but maybe if you're newer to like spiritual energy, right? This is being aware that there is a subtle energy that sends you messages, okay? This is a very deeply spiritual card. And if you see this energy of this crow, okay, which which constitutes psychic energy, is holding onto the world. Now that energy, spirit, God, if you will, is present in everything. And I think you're aware of that, but especially this week, ensuring that as you're going within and doing this little self journey, okay, that you're paying attention because spirit is going to be sending you messages all over the place to pay attention to, okay? Now you have the lion card, all right, which is the strength card. And this is all about pride and, and like really feeling good and strong about what you're doing, okay? So I think you're bringing in a lot of good, strong energy this week. Leo energy, fire, inner sun, uh, solar plexus, chakra, okay? Um, inner light, inner light confidence. And you have the sea serpent. Now, the sea serpent does have to do with the sacral chakra, okay? If I'm not mistaken, let me just verify here one moment. Yeah, sacral chakra. Um, when the essence of this card is in balance, we express ourselves creatively and sexually without fear or shame. We know what we desire most. Our hearts are at ease and our relationships are meaningful and enduring. We loosen the grip of self-judgment. We let the cool waters of forgiveness in to heal our wounds. When it's not activated, emotions and creativity are left in muddy waters. Stagnation. So, um, yeah. I don't know if you feel uncomfortable expressing yourself sexually or if there's a little bit of a blockage there otherwise this is upright so i actually don't think you have an issue expressing yourself sexually and creatively and i think this week is going to be um 
a week. This is almost like Queen of Wands energy because this is a major arcana in the animal spirit. So this is definitely Queen of Wands energy. So expressive, magnetic. You have that Leo energy with the strength card here too. And you have that crow, which is intuitive. So it's high priestess strength and Queen of Wands. All right. This is really good stuff. And now you have the whale in reverse. So I think uh, this is almost like the, the world in reverse because the whale is such a big force, okay? Such a big force. And it's huge and it's expansive. And you're feeling in reverse right now. So there could be a couple things, right? Going back to the pilgrim card where you haven't reached these goals that you've been wanting to reach in terms of your accolades or again, your studies or your, your passion career or your side hustle, what have you, um, relationships, um, emotional understanding, okay? But um, you're going to get there. You just, just don't let the present moment deter you from continuing to move forward, okay? Now you have the camel in reverse, which talks about being being able to nourish ourselves from within. Now, what could I liken this to? Mm, kind of like Queen of Cups in reverse meets Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Yeah, but not um, not in like a toxic kind of way. More in a way of just, ah, temperance in reverse. That's how I would do that. There's... A little bit of an unbalance here in terms of your ability to fill your own emotional well okay and really feel totally full especially when you're alone okay let's go ahead and get some tarot for libra here Yeah, you have the king of cups and you have the queen of cups in reverse the empress in reverse with the emperor okay so um scorpio just got a lot of these energies okay now there could be a scorpio in your life um that is a, a big energy that's part of your life this week okay and they may not be feeling a hundred percent um themselves and um their energy could be impacting you this week okay i'm particularly picking up on a scorpio who has energy that could be impacting you this week okay and if there is no scorpio in your life at this time you are feeling strong Okay, with this emperor energy upright, you are feeling strong about your ability to take care of business and provide for yourself, right? Uh, at least in the pentacles aspect and home stable foundation, right? But the emotional side of things this week is really where you're going to be looking to do some deep diving, right? Because you have the Empress here with the King of Cups in reverse and the Queen of Cups in reverse. This is, um, I'm not going to go as far as emotional instability, but you're not able to properly digest your emotions and communicate how you're feeling completely comfortably and effortless effortlessly. So it's making you feel a little bit insecure. Okay, you're gorgeous and you're beautiful, handsome, attractive, whatever sex you are, okay? But something this week is going to hit your emotions and it's going to make you have to pause for a little bit, okay? We have a page of pentacles in reverse. This is you potentially feeling disconnected from nature, all right? from yourself a little bit at times okay and maybe like like um 
it's not that you don't have direction. It's not that you don't have direction, but you might just be having your own personal insecurities um, this week, especially when it comes to like maybe a small business that you're doing, a side hustle, okay? And sitting with yourself, right? We've talked about this a couple times, four of cups up, right? Sitting with yourself and just being with yourself, thinking about where you are, like, I told Scorpio to put yourself in a timeout this week, right? Just give yourself some time to just sit, time out, assess, feel, contemplate, all right? Okay, Libra, let's go ahead and get one more card to close it out. We're going to do the Unfurling Goddess. Deja vu, defy the past, define the future. You are only one thing, love, freshness. Crown chakra, sahasrara. Unfurl with intense beauty, rare, fresh, exquisite, and vulnerable playfulness, not to be taken for granted without asking, with force, Give forth only through self-authority and in agreement with one's personal timing, body strategy, and unique human design. The intensity and vulnerability of being rare is to be a natural human. There is no right or wrong way to be alive and free within yourself. One's personal grace unfurls naturally upon one's unique path. I ask spirit, what is my part? I listen and live in response, trusting that I belong unified with who I truly am. So what do we talk about? We're gonna go within this week, okay? Gonna go within, all right? Okay, Libra, that's what I have for you. Have a very nice week and I'll see you soon. Thanks, bye-bye.